Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good... Everybody, I say that so much. I hope you all are having a great 4th of July weekend. Um, as you know, I'm doing this blog project. I wanted to update you guys on where I'm at um, and what my plans are. Um, so if you don't know, um, January 18th, I was diagnosed with stage 3 anaplastic astrocytoma. And I was given 27% chance of living within five years. Um, you know, and I'm fighting through this. Um, if I keep going back and forth, not only am I looking at my notes, but the Mariner game is also on. And James Paxton's pitching tonight, so go Ams. Um, stupid angels. Um, anyway, so what I'm... <laughs> and I got a big, big week ahead of me, so bear with me. This isn't going to be... Um, 18 minutes like my last one. This one's going to be a little bit, you know, more well put together and I'm still learning how to how to edit videos and, and all that kind of stuff. So for those of you who don't know, I did 33 radiation treatments on my brain and they started from right here. This is where the incision point was of the surgery and it went all the way down to about right there. Um, so that part, I'm not going bald. This is just taking time to come back. Um, but, um, yeah, I did 42 chemotherapy treatments of this drug called temozolabine, which is specifically designed for this part of the brain. That went really well. I am now on double the dosage of temozolamide that I take five days a month every, or five, 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 five days a month, excuse me. And I have eight more months of that. So 40 left. Um, so the goal is by my birthday, March 6th to hear the word remission. That is one of my first goals. Um, so I got the box right here for my next treatment that I'm gonna be starting on the 10th of July. Uh, before then, I'm gonna be leaving July 7th with my dad. We're gonna fly back down to Phoenix. Um, my really good friend, Lindsey Glass, is gonna pick us up from the airport. Um, he's the one who found me at work having my seizure, so dinner's on us, Lindsay. How you doing? Um, the 8th, I'm going to hang out with, or it's the 8th or 9th, but anyways, um, you know, spend some time with my dad watching how it's made, you know, astrophysics videos and stuff and all that fun stuff that we get along with, you know, and baseball um, before the All-Star break. Uh, the 9th, Ryan Anderson's going to be having a little barbecue, um, and his wife, they just had a new baby girl, um, he, he can't produce any Y chromosomes whatsoever. He has two girls. So congratulations, Ryan. Or thank you for inviting me over, by the way. Um, the 9th, I'm planning on having a date with a general surgeon at, um, the Reds Diamondbacks game. Um, she's really good looking too. Um, but you know, women, it, and if that doesn't happen, you know, I still have faith in her, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'll just spend more time with my dad. The 10th, I will have my MRI. Um, I will then go to my radiologist, say hi to everybody, hug everybody, you know, go, hey, look at me now, you know, like, it's working. Um, and then I will go to my oncologist's office, and we're going to take a look at those results. And they're going to be good. They're going to be a lot better than last time. I'm really, really excited for that. Um, after that, after the 10th, I'm going to rush over to uh, the original Honor Health Hospital. And I want to see all of my nurses. I want to get all pictures with them and stuff. And, you know, with their permission, of course. And, um, you know, just say, hey, remember me from six months ago? You know, I'm still alive. Um, you know, because they did a lot of hard work for me. Um... I will then take double dosage of chemo through the 14th in Scottsdale. Um, and I'll just bang it out. You know, it's just another month of chemo. It's not that really that big of a deal. Um, I'll fly back home with my dad, or no, excuse me. And then I'll take a weekend off and I'll sit in the sun and, you know, 118 degrees, whatever it is, for about 20 minutes and I'll get my tan back. So looking forward to that. Um, the 17th. I'll fly home with my dad. Um, 
yeah, we, we're going to be getting back at like 11 o'clock at night. So if there's anybody in the Spokane area that, you know, would like to pick us up, you know, that with a big car, that would be awesome. Mom doesn't like to drive at night. Um, so I'm currently working on this website project. What I would like to do is get um, like YouTube links, donation links to... Um, you know, choosehope.com, which is a cancer foundation. I still don't want any money from you guys. So that whole GoFundMe for Tyler Carey, I don't want to do it. I just want to raise awareness for brain cancer. Um, and then the goal is to develop this like really great website where you can monitor all my progress. I can start from day one, um, you know, and then I can keep updating, you know, after I get remission, you know, weekly or daily or whatever. And, um, cause I don't want anybody else to ever go through this. Um, I need to speak to Barrow Neurological Center too. get the doctor's permission. Of course, you know, might have to get a lawyer, you know, when you're building a website. So, um, a lot of big things are coming, but this is where my mind is at right now. I'm trying to get work done. Even on a Saturday when it's 88 degrees outside and it's the 4th of July weekend, this is what I'm doing. I'm working on my project. Um, I ran into Eileen Bieber today at the grocery store. Remember Mrs. Bieber, our, uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, our junior English teacher. She looks great. Uh, she's still subbing over at Coeur d'Alene High School. Um, I want to thank her. I want to thank, uh, Martha Roletto, um, for, yeah, uh, she, she used to help me when, um, when I was struggling with math every day after school, so I want to thank her. Um, everybody that's been in Coeur d'Alene that's been very supportive, thank you very much. Thank you for continuing to follow me. Um, yeah, I'll update you guys as I go along, but it's 7.15 and in this clickbait generation that we live in, you know, that's probably too long of a video for you guys, so I'm just going to wrap it up and I'll update you after my MRI and after my chemo and all that stuff. But I'm going to stay off Facebook for a little while. You know, that's probably smart. Um, you know, but I'll just keep updating this blog, you know, because I love you guys. And I want, I don't want anybody else to go through this. So go Mariners and um, have a great 4th of July weekend. Take care of yourself. Spend time with your family. Don't go downtown past 10 o'clock at night. Um, rest in peace, Jeff Marfus. And keep your prayers with, with Crystal Mobs and her family and that whole situation, too. Okay, I love you guys. Bye.